I think the biggest question about Amazon internships is that is Amazon still worth it? In my opinion, the answer is yes. An Amazon internship is still very much worth it. Let me explain. It is fact that Amazon has been doing massive hiring in recent years. It is kind of a joke that everyone and their mom get into Amazon because so many people share that they get an offer from Amazon. It seems like today Amazon recruiters are so desperate to get talent. And that is kind of true. Amazon is one of the biggest tech companies with the most engineers. In 2021, Amazon hired over 10,000 interns. So my estimation is that there were at least 1,000 SDE interns last year. You might look at those numbers and think that Amazon internship is no longer competitive, but that is not quite true. Amazon is doing this kind of massive hiring for a few different reasons. Of course, the biggest reason is that it does need a lot of engineers to grow its businesses like AWS. But another reason is that Amazon is suffering from big cultural problems. For those of you who read Blind or Reddit a little bit more frequently, you might have heard Amazon's toxic culture being talked about a lot on the internet. So let me explain a little bit. In my opinion, there are generally three different problems when it comes to Amazon's culture. The first one is URA and PIP. The second one is work-life balance. And the third one is compensation. So first, let me explain. What is PIP and URA? PIP stands for Performance Improvement Plan. It's just sort of a bad kid list at Amazon. If an engineer gets pipped, it's implied that this engineer is getting fired. If you go on blind, you will see tons and tons of posts about Amazon pips. But here's the thing, there's nothing wrong about having pips. Every single company has it. Facebook has it, Google has it, Apple has it. Every single company has to fire on the performers. That is totally okay. What is not okay is what's called URA. URA stands for Unregretted Attrition, which is a metric that a lot of managers at Amazon has to fulfill. Basically, it means that managers have to fire a certain percentage of its team every single year. That doesn't sound too bad. Let me use an analogy. Let's say you're taking a major class that you have to take to graduate. And on the first day of class, your professor says, I'm going to fail 10% of you regardless of your grades this year. I don't care what you think, that is just how I do things. So, in that kind of class, as a student, you have absolutely no incentive to help others because you don't want to be one of those 10% of people who fail the class and have to take it next year, right? So there's no reason to help others. At the end of the day, your safety and your grades matter. Imagine how toxic that class is going to be. And then think of the same environment, but in the workplace. Now, do you see how bad that is? I'm not saying that all managers at Amazon have to do this. In fact, a lot of managers at Amazon do not have this quota to fill. But the problem is big enough that a lot of people are posting similar experiences online. So that's the main reason how Amazon has earned its pretty toxic reputation. But what's good is that this problem does not apply to interns because interns cannot be fired. So if you are about being pipped as an intern, don't even think about it. There's no way you're getting pipped. So you can just take the internship and enjoy how much time you have to learn new things. But the second problem might affect you as an intern, and that is work-life balance. In a lot of teams at Amazon, work-life balance seems to be an issue. And there are a few reasons for this. One is that the business is growing and there's a lot of work to do, especially in cloud like AWS, which is how Amazon makes a lot of its money. Two is that there seems to be a lot of ops work for engineers to do. So a lot of engineers have to be on call while doing the day job. And that is pretty rough. Another thing is the swim or sink culture. Because on a lot of teams that have URA, there's no incentive to help your teammates. Otherwise, you might get fired. So you might not get to collaborate with your teammates or really just get to know them and help each other. On that kind of teams, interns might not get enough mentorship or they might not even get interesting projects to do. So that could be a problem. So not so good work-life balance on a team might affect your internship experience. But that's also totally random because you don't know what kind of team you will be on. And you will only be there for three months. So I don't really think that's a problem. The last thing about the cultural problem is the compensation, which a lot of people might say that's not even a problem because you're already getting paid a lot. It used to be that Amazon pays a lot less than its competitor like Meta, but recent years, I think Amazon has made its compensation more appealing. So I don't really think that's gonna be a problem, especially not for interns because intern salaries are exactly the same across the board with some variations based on location. So we don't have to worry about that. If you wanna see real examples of Amazon's cultural problems, let me show you two of them. The first one is what I call the Woods Incident. So when I interned at Amazon in fall 2021, I saw the entire Woods saga go down. And I'm gonna link the Business Insider article down below for you to take a look. 
All of this has already been public information, so I'm not breaking any NDAs. So basically, this absolute chat whose nickname is Woods got pipped in early 2021, and he went on an MFLA leave, a medical leave allowed by some California act. What he did was that while he was gone, he changed his internal nickname to Pipped, and he started two internal Slack channels for people to freely talk about the Pip experience. That is a lot to take in. I remember when I was interning, that was really the talk of blind. Especially in the blind internal channel for Amazon, like Woods was the topic of every single person. He was seen as this kind of heroic figure for a lot of Amazon engineers who had the PIP experience and was very upset about how they were treated. I have no comment on that. All of this is public information, so you can decide for yourself. Another example is this Zhao Wei post on LinkedIn. Basically, this person wrote about his experience of getting pipped and made this LinkedIn post to look for another job. It is worth noting that this post has some credibility issues as some people pointed out that he actually didn't do as much work as he was supposed to do when he was on the team. But whether he was a good engineer is beyond the point. The point is that this post got a lot, a lot of support from people. And that just shows you how many people were resonating with his Amazon experience and those people were also acknowledging Amazon's cultural problem. So what I want to say is Amazon does still have some of the cultural problems, but it will not affect you as an intern. However, if you have a new grad offer from Amazon and you are still watching this video, I would recommend that you do more research to figure out what's the right decision for you. Again, I'm not saying Amazon is going to be a bad experience. In fact, I think your Amazon internship experience will vary a lot. Personally, I did a brief informal survey from all my friends who interned at Amazon. So here's what I found. About 80% of them went to a different company after the internship and about 20% of them actually accepted the return offer. I think that's a pretty good return rate. One interesting thing to mention is that out of the 80% of people who did not return, about 10% of people told me that they actually had a pretty negative experience at Amazon, mostly because of terrible work-life balance. So I guess that just really depends on luck and what kind of team you get placed on. But the fact that 80% of all my friends chose somewhere else means that they have the option to choose somewhere else after they get that Amazon internship. That means that Amazon is still super, super valuable on your resume, regardless of your experience. Because recruiters still recognize Amazon as a big name. And when they see Amazon on your resume, they know you're at least this good. So they are more likely to hire you. Plus, another really good thing about Amazon internships is the money. ST interns get paid around $8,000 a month and around $9,000 for premium cities like NYC or San Francisco. Plus, we also get a relocation bonus for about 5K in lump sum. And that is a lot of money. So think about it this way. You are taking this internship to learn new things and get paid handsomely. And you don't have to worry about a lot of things that full-timers have to worry about. I think that's a pretty sweet deal. So if you are lucky enough to get an offer, I would still say that Amazon internship is still a very strong offer and you should think about it. For those of you who didn't get it, it's not a big deal. Don't beat yourself up. Getting an offer from Amazon has so much luck involved. You have no idea if you are gonna do well on any of the OAs and you have no idea if you will get a good interviewer who will give you a relatively easy problem. There's so much variable in the interview process. Most of the time, it's not up to you. So if you didn't get the offer, don't be too upset. Just try next time. I always say that Amazon is like a bad Russian roulette. There are good bullets, there are bad bullets. You just have to try it for yourself. Is it worth it to take the offer? Only you can decide. And I hope this video can help you get the offer and make the right decision for yourself. That is everything I wish I knew before I started my Amazon internship. Let me know in the comments down below about your Amazon internship experience. And I hope this video helps. I'll see you next time. Bye.